gossip columnist, strawberry picker, hospital porter, potato peeler, commie chef, the Michelin star restaurant. I worked as an accountant. And then smoothie entrepreneur. Speed, running. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Early days of Leon were a living hell. Um, we had no idea what we were doing. I'm Henry Dimbleby, co-founder of Leon Restaurants. We were three guys with no experience in the industry. There was no chief executive amongst the three of us. We wanted to make something that tastes good and does you good. I'm John Wright, co-founder of Innocent Drinks. It was me, the laptop, the spare room and an idea. My name is Emma Jones and my company is Enterprise Nation. We went to see an enormous packaging company for a meeting to try and develop the packaging for our product and we had what we thought was quite a good meeting with them and at the end the, the chap on the other side of the table stood up and said would you like some petrol money to get home? On the first day we opened the doors in Carnaby Street and stood there and no one came in and then one woman walked in almost by mistake you saw this look of panic on her face she didn't know where the hell she was when we were approached to sell the company we were running the business from two separate home offices in manchester so we thought right we're going to have to look big because they're not going to buy us if we're run from home offices we took out serviced office space of a room we put up photo pictures of our family we made it look as if we ran the whole floor the finance director came in went through the figures and as he was leaving he said of course one of the reasons we're looking to acquire you is you've kept the business home based, you've kept your costs low. You will make mistakes, everyone makes mistakes, everyone will have setbacks. It does get better, that's what I'd say to anyone, you know, it gets better, it's, it's not the end of the world. I don't like the term work-life balance because the term implies that you're a different person in work and in life. We kind of did have a an implicit rule that at weekends we just wouldn't do anything to do with the business. If you enjoy what you're doing, you hopefully don't feel that you have work and then something else that is more enjoyable. Yeah, I've become really good at not working at weekends and, and, and I'm getting better at that in the week too.